Hi learners! In today's video, you will learn about dilation as a transformation. Finding the scale factor and using the scale factor in finding a missing dimension are the main focus of the lesson. The video lesson will limit the discussion on positive scale factor only. Strategies in analyzing and solving word problems related to the topic are showcased to let you gain an understanding on how these are done so that you will be able to successfully answer geometry problems similar to these in the future. If your lesson is on dilation or if you have an assignment on this topic or if you are preparing for a test in math or a test in geometry in particular or you are someone who is interested in learning math, then this video is for you. Recall that a dilation is a kind of transformation that produces an image that is of the same shape but not of the same size as the pre-image. Thus, the pre-image and the image are similar. Also, during dilation, the farther the image is from the center of dilation, the larger it is compared to the pre-image. On the other hand, the nearer the image is from the center of dilation, the smaller it is compared to the pre-image. The ratio of the size of the image to the size of the pre-image is the scale factor of dilation with the symbol k. That is, the scale factor k is equal to size of the image over the size of the pre-image. The word size in the formula could also mean side length of the image and the pre-image, or the distance from the center of dilation to the image or the pre-image. Okay, let us work on these sample problems so you will know how to find the scale factor. Sample problem one. Here's the problem. What is the scale factor that will carry figure A onto figure B during a dilation shown below? A figure is given. Option A, 6. Option B, 3. Option C, 1 half. Option D, 1 fourth. As usual, we begin by reading the whole problem and may read it several times when needed to know what we're looking for, to determine what are given, and to figure out how the given information helps find what we're looking for. What is asked in the problem, learners? You are correct. The problem asks for the scale factor that will carry figure A onto figure B during the dilation. What are given? We're given a figure with triangles A and B on the coordinate plane. Okay, so we are to find the scale factor. To do that, we will follow these steps. First, identify the image and the pre-image. Identifying which one is the image and which one is the pre-image is crucial. You can often get this from the statement of the problem. The problem says... What is the scale factor that will carry figure A onto figure B during the dilation? Now, the phrase that is highlighted in yellow tells us that figure A is the pre-image, the original. The phrase that is highlighted in green tells us that figure B is the image, the outcome. Now, second, determine the corresponding side lengths. Check the sides of the triangles. Choose a pair of vertical or horizontal corresponding sides. Once you've decided which one to use, find their lengths. We will choose the horizontal sides. Now, we will find their lengths by counting the grid. Let's go. On figure A, the pre-image, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The length is 6 units. On figure B, the image, we have 1, 2, 3. The length is 3 units. Write the side lengths on the figure. I hope you understand why we have to choose the horizontal or the vertical sides. It is because it's easy to find their lengths. The diagonal side is tricky. You need a different method in determining its length. Now, third... We apply the formula for the scale factor, which says k is equal to 
side length of the image over side length of the pre-image. Plugging in the values we got, k is now equal to 3 over 6. Simplifying the fraction gives us k equals 1 half. Bingo! We got the answer. So, what is our answer, learners? Is it option A, option B, option C, or option D? Okay, so the answer is option C. The answer of k equals one half is reasonable for the image is smaller than the pre-image. That was easy, right? Okay, so we move on to the next sample problem, sample problem two. Here's the problem. Triangle EFG has been dilated from center O to triangle JKL. A figure is given. If the length of segment FG is X, what is the length of segment KL? Okay, here are the options. Option A, X. Option B, 2X. Option C, 3X. Option D, 6X. As usual, we begin by reading the whole problem and may read it several times when needed to know what we're looking for, to determine what are given, and to figure out how the given information help find what we're looking for. What is asked in the problem, learners? You're correct. We're asked to find the length of segment KL. This is side KL in our figure. What are given? We're given a figure where triangle EFG has been dilated from center O to triangle JKL. The length of segment FG, which is X, is also given. To answer the problem, we first have to get the scale factor. Remember that we can get this from the corresponding side lengths. Do you still remember the steps in finding the scale factor, learners? Okay, so we start by identifying the pre-image and the image. The problem statement will help us identify the image and the pre-image. The problem says, triangle EFG has been dilated from center O to triangle JKL. This highlighted phrase in yellow tells us that the pre-image is triangle EFG. And the phrase highlighted in green tells us that the image is triangle JKL. Mark the triangles if you can. Now, we will determine the corresponding side lengths. Which sides are you going to choose, learners? Correct, the vertical sides for you can easily get their lengths. On triangle EFG, the pre-image, we will choose side EF. We will get its length by counting the grid. We count one, two, three. The length is three units. On triangle JKL, the image, we choose side JK. We get its length by again counting the grid. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. The length is six units. Now, we will apply the formula. K is equal to side length of the image over side length of the pre-image. Now, K, the scale factor, has JK for the length of the image and EF for the length of the pre-image. So, plugging in the values, we have k is equal to 6 over 3. Now, k is equal to 2. Looking back at the figure, we see that the image is indeed larger than the pre-image. The scale factor of 2 tells us that the image is twice as large as the pre-image. Now, remember that we are to find the length of segment KL. Since the transformation here is a result of dilation, the pre-image and the image are similar. That being said, the scale factor is the same for all pairs of corresponding sides. Now, where is segment KL in our figure? Which segment 
correspond to segment KL. You are correct. It is segment FG. So from this formula, which says K is equal to side length of the image over side length of the pre-image, we can write the scale factor K using KL and FG this way. So K is equal to KL over FG. Side KL is what we're looking for, so we will just leave KL in the equation. On the other hand, side FG is given in the problem as having a measure of x. Plugging in the value for FG, which is x, we have K is equal to KL over x. Since the two scale factors are the same, that is K equals 2 and K equals KL over x are the same, we will put them into an equation like this. So 2 is equal to KL over x. We can write the equation again this way. 2 over 1 is equal to KL over x. Cross multiplication gives us this. KL is equal to 2x. There you are, learners. We have an answer. So which one is our answer? Is it option A, option B, option C, or option D? Okay, so the answer is option B. That was, again, easy. There you are, learners. I hope you acquired lots of learning in today's video. Let us then summarize what we have learned in today's video. We have learned that, first, a dilation is a transformation that produces an image that is of the same shape but not of the same size as the pre-image. The pre-image and the image are similar. Second, the following are the steps in determining the scale factor during dilation. A. Identify the image and the free image. B. Determine the corresponding side lengths. Choose a pair whose measures you can easily get. These are usually the horizontal or vertical side lengths. C. Apply the formula for the scale factor K. Third, the ratio of the size of the image to the size of the pre-image is the scale factor of dilation. That is, K is equal to size of the image over the size of the pre-image. The word size in the formula could also mean side length or the distance from the center of dilation. Fourth, in dilation, when the scale factor is greater than 1, the image is larger than the pre-image. And when the scale factor is less than 1, the image is smaller than the pre-image. Fifth, when solving for an unknown side, make use of the fact that each pair of corresponding sides have the same scale factor. Sixth, when solving a problem, you must read it and may read it several times when needed to know what you're looking for, to determine what are given, and to figure out how the given information helps find what we're looking for. Seventh, when a figure is given, make use of it and modify when needed. It is there to help you analyze and solve the problem. There you are, learners. Hope this video helps. That's it for now. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your peers so others will learn too. Bye!